pet rescues wish for the new year. Pet rescue means safety and a second chance for more than 800 homeless dogs and cats a year. We match them up with foster families, provide veterinary care, and find them new permanent homes. And we do this all without a shelter or central location. It's our dedicated team of volunteers, an extensive network of foster homes that make it happen. And, oh yes, our van. Our faithful 17-year-old Toyota Prius has transported hundreds of animals to the vet and to adoption days where they get a chance to meet a new family. It's also made numerous trips down south to rescue dogs from high kill shelters and bring them to New York. But with all its creaks and groans, it's not up for that anymore. We still manage to get our animals to vet appointments and to meet and greet events. But as our mechanic says, it's just a matter of time. He told us that the man isn't even good for parts anymore. It's rickety, it's old, it's broken down a few times, makes a lot of noises, and it's scary to drive in. Now every time we get in it, we cross our fingers, knock on wood, and wonder when it's gonna break down. With no struts or shocks, driving is kind of like an amusement park ride, and it makes some interesting noises. With no power steering, the driver gets a great workout for the arms and back. The sliding door handle doesn't always work, so you have to climb in from the driver's side, squeeze through, and push it open from inside. The sunroof opens, but it doesn't close. It doesn't like the rain. Uh, if it rains in the middle of a drive, it will just stop in the middle of the road, wherever you happen to be, and wait till the sun comes out, and then it will go. It is totally unreliable. We've learned to stick to short distances and only take a few animals at a time. We do have a second van, also 17 years old, that we've used mostly for taking cats to adoption events, but it isn't any more reliable. Although it supposedly doesn't have any obvious mechanical problems, it just has one little issue. It doesn't start. It's been sitting idle in a volunteer's driveway for months. Volunteers have been taking out cats by squeezing carriers, cages, and tables into their own cars. We use the van for storing cages and supplies. Our wish for the new year is that we're able to purchase a reliable minivan, or better yet, two minivans. With your help, we know we can make our dream come true. Thank you 